for employment. The GED test is broken down into five different sections. There's math, writing, social studies, science, and literature. Studies show about 800,000 adults take the exam every year. It can be a little more difficult in high school because you're cramming everything in at once, I guess you could say, instead of taking a four-year period learning everything. I'm going to do it because I want to take a college course class in the fall. Yeah and try to take something that would help me towards being a physical therapist. Mm -hmm. So, I have a go. Denise is an employee at East Tennessee State University. Through a unique program, she actually gets paid to study for the GED. It's uh, designed to assist university employees in improving job and lifelong learning skills. Things such as reading, writing, math, and basic computer skills. Maxie Hines is also taking part in the program. She says it's been a wonderful experience, and she can't w wait to take the test. Makes me feel wonderful. If they would let me go to the high school and graduate with the other graduates, I would just love it. Because <laughs> I went to high school at Washington College Academy. The GED test is not easy. It's a seven and a half hour process. It's designed so that if given in a high school setting, half of the students would pass, the other half would fail. Baker says it's a diploma employers respect. It's not a question of ability, educational level now with this GED. It's very well respected. But they do ask the question, you know, why did you quit school and what kind of guarantees can you give me that you've changed in terms of your commitment to a job or to school? Everyone has their own reasons for not finishing high school, but the GED offers a second chance. I was a teenage mom, wanted to drop out, yeah. And I would advise anybody to go back to school because they have a chance to even take their kids to school nowadays, which is a wonderful thing. And I think they should, you know, stay in school and get that education. Now, with the GED, it's, it's probably the one thing that opens the most doors for any one individual. Um, with the GED, you can pursue employment opportunities that you never could before without one. Uh, you can also get into college and take further professional and educational development courses that you can't get into without a high school equivalency.